What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Coral Reef Talk. Today we're going to take a look at a coral called the Leptosiris coral. It's a SPS coral and it's very easy to care for. SPS or small polyp stony corals can be challenging and sometimes difficult to keep but today I'm here to talk to you about the Leptosiris coral which tends to be a little bit more forgiving and on the easier side. Now I have two of those Lepto corals in my tank and I've had some parameter swings and some mishaps that's caused other corals to die and through that misfortune though these two Leptosiris corals have still been kicking and they're doing really well. The Leptosiris coral can be glued or mounted to your rock work and placed in the lower part of your tank. The Leptosiris coral has a symbiotic relationship with zooxanthellae which live inside of the coral so most of their nutrition comes from photosynthesis. Now you can also feed this coral with some mysis shrimp or smaller coral food However, I've found that just letting your lights do the work because, like I said, they are photosynthetic. The Leptosiris, also known as the wrinkle coral, is an excellent coral for the beginning hobbyist level. You see, I've had the orange Leptosiris coral in my tank for a while and as it was acclimating and getting adjusted, I noticed it start to lose color and then that color would come back it would grow, it would look like it's not growing, and now it's just grown into this big, massive piece. Once they get acclimated and adjusted to your tank, they tend to grow rather quickly, and the way they grow is by encrusting over your rock work. Now, the jack-o'-lantern lepto coral that I have in my tank, I have a flat piece of rock right next to it that I'm hoping it's gonna encrust and grow all over that. So overall, if you're a beginning reefer or intermediate level reefer and you're looking to get into SPS and you want to try something out before you get to the more challenging SPS corals, then check out a Leptosiris coral. They tend to come in a lot of colors, but I really like the jack-o'-lantern or the orange variety as you can see in my tank. I just think that uh, greenish yellow eye against the the orange wrinkles looks fantastic and once it grows out it's going to look even more amazing. So let me know what you think in the comments below. What color Leptosiris coral do you have if you have one and if you're looking for SPS what do you think about Lepto corals? Do you like them? Do you want them? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you learned something in this video. Remember to like, leave me a comment down below, and subscribe, right? Tell them to subscribe. That's right. If you're not a part of this thing already, be sure to subscribe below, and we'll see you next time on the Coral Reef Talk. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.